Everything is possible. We make it work. Hi, I'm Keith Bryant from Smart Loop, and I'm here at the SMT show, and I'm stood in front of a demonstration of our wonderful new yield improvement technology. I'm going to start with the Mutech MV7 machine, and we're going to inspect the board with 3D AOI, hopefully find one or two suspect components with problems related to Z-height, and then we're going to put the board into the Adline Cheetah X-ray machine and see if we can see exactly what are the faults. Because obviously the AOI machine can tell you there is a suspect part because of height, because of flatness, because of warpage, because of coplanarity, but it cannot tell you if it's a BGA, a QFN, any of those kind of devices, what is actually happening underneath. Because it is optical inspection, so if it can't see it, it can't measure it, and it can't actually report on the results. So this gray area in the process is now covered by Smart Loop. So I'm going to hand to Philip and he's going to run the board. You can see defect occurred. And here we have a red square in this corner, which shows that this VGA is failed inspection and it's high on this corner and also this qfp you can see here there's some bridging but there's something strange happening to the joint shape and the joint quality around this area but there doesn't seem to be a direct cause so again these two parts will be checked on the x-ray machine so here we have the board Normally the board would now be scanned by the barcode reader for the cheetah and it would go to the operator and he would put the board into the system, close the door and here we have the smart loop extension. By clicking on this we will get all of the relevant information on the suspect parts. The machine automatically starts when you click on the smart loop extension. So here we have all the relevant data and here we have the first inspection site. The quality of the image is so good that already we can see the reason for the faults. But let's assume that it's something that's gonna be harder to see. The operator can now zoom in, look at the field of interest. They can look from an angle, they can increase the power, they can increase the KV, they can do everything that they would need to to actually do a full inspection on these parts to decide good or no good. Okay. We also have the ability to classify the fault so that we can classify it as a failure because of an open, a short, what we have in this case, which is a chip under the component or a whole list of other potential failures. So this information goes very accurately back into the factory management system, the SPC system, or whatever the, the customer is actually running. But as far as we're concerned, the important thing is we have actually looked under the component and found the reason for the suspect height, which again is the chip underneath the device. If we go to the other device, We can see already, here is the area where we had the obvious fault. And again, what we have here, causing the problem with the height of the leads. Again, we have a component which has got trapped in the solder paste because when the pick and place board is moving around very fast, the, any loose components are sliding on top of the board and it has got trapped here on the solder paste. Component has been placed on top of it. It's reflowed, but as you can see, the joints are very narrow. Again, very high quality, high magnification X-ray image and giving you an exact fault cause. So we now have root cause analysis for everything which the 3D AOI machine says may be suspect in terms of Z height. And now we move over to 
the management information system, which effectively is the, the key link within the system. We have here the X-ray image, we have here the 3D AOI image, and if we were working in real life, we'd here have an SPI image, because in front of this machine we would have printer, SPI, and placement. But we don't have space for that at this exhibition, so we're starting with the um, post-reflow 3D AOI. But as I say, normally you would have it here. If you had pre-reflow AOI, we also have a space here for the image. We have all the results, we have all the data, we have all the history of this part, we have all the history of this component. So a technician sitting with this level of information can make a value judgment on how to improve his process, to increase his yield, and to stop these suspect parts getting to the x-ray machine. So in an ideal world, after running this for a few months with process improvement, your 3D AOI is going good board, good board, good board, good board. Because that's the yield that you need, and that's the ultimate way of getting process management. Because if your systems are working together, seamlessly, and they're all linked to a management information system, you have the ultimate way of improving your process and getting process management that really keeps everything under control. On the back of that, you have full traceability of SPI, of uh, post-reflow information, of X-ray information, because everything is stored on a database shaped on that part number. And we have, even have the ability here, if the operator is looking at the overall picture and you're going, this isn't very big, we can actually zoom, move, do anything that we want to do with all of those images. So the guy who is sat here can really make an accurate decision on what he needs to do to improve his process. So that is the essence of SmartLoop. Thank you very much for your time and attention.